What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here, playing some Final Fantasy 7 on the PlayStation 1. Uh, Final Fantasy is one of my favorite RPG series of all time. Actually, Final Fantasy 7, I'll just go out on a limb and say, is the very first role-playing game that the Beastly Gamer ever had the privilege of playing. So I have this game in very high esteem, very uh, well regarded in my life because it was one of the first games that I played like this that actually got me involved with the characters making me invest in the in the world and uh, really care about the future of these fictional characters. Final Fantasy 7 is one of my favorite RPGs of all time. So today at the PlayStation Experience which is uh, December 6th and December 7th I saw a reveal, a reveal of Final Fantasy 7 for the PlayStation 4 and uh, the way they started this reveal was they showed the start and continue screen and I immediately knew what it was. I knew immediately it was Final Fantasy 7 and so the hairs on the back of my neck stood up. They stood straight up. I, I thought that this is going to be something that it wasn't. Uh, let me just say that. So here I am getting extremely excited, you know, fever pitch. I feel like I'm in a cold sweat watching the screen and then I start to realize this is pretty much a port of the game you guys see before you now. It's pretty much a port of the original Final Fantasy VII. Character models are the same. Uh, it looks like the, uh, the actual world looks pretty much the same. Even the CG looks pretty much spot on to the original. Now, graphically, it looks like this game has been cleaned up a little bit. There are lots and lots of jaggies in the original Final Fantasy VII. I, haven't, I didn't see nearly as many in the little bit of footage that we showed at the PlayStation Experience today. But for the most part, I gotta say, I was a little bit disappointed. I was a little bit disappointed. Uh, I, I thought that with it being ported to the PlayStation 4, m this many years after the original, that they would have actually, Square would have actually went in there and done some real maintenance and put a fresh coat of paint on a lot of the game. But it doesn't look like they did. It looks like they pretty much ported a PC port over to the PC PS4. And I'm a little disheartened by that. I feel kind of bad about it. But I began to think, and these things started stewing in my mind. What's going on with Square? Square knows that there's millions of people who would pay top dollar for a legitimate Final Fantasy VII reboot or remake. And um, they know that there are people like myself who, who cut their teeth on this game. They know that there are people out there who've been wanting this for a very, very long time. And the fact that Capcom has been in trouble financially, they probably have to put a lot of resources into developing a brand new Final Fantasy VII from scratch, making it from scratch, rather than focus on the games they know that are making money. So I think this is a test. I think that Square is actually testing to see how many people would want a Final Fantasy VII game on a newer console, which to me really it shouldn't require a test because to me it's one of the best games I've ever played. Unfortunately, I know a lot of people who don't believe that, so maybe that's what Capcom is looking at. Capcom wants to know exactly how many people out there are willing to buy this game. It's not a remake. It looks pretty similar to the game you guys see before you now. So unfortunately, I'm not really that excited about picking it up. Uh, if they add new features, if they add new modes, if, if you can you know, change the graphical style to make it look a little bit more uh, up to date and more modern, maybe. But if it looks like just basically a ported PC port of Final Fantasy VII, I'm not going to be that excited about it, unfortunately. As big a fan as I am in Final Fantasy, especially Final Fantasy VII, I'd, I'd, I could just go ahead and play this rather than pay another 50 or $60 for a port of a game that's pretty much what I've been playing for the last 15 years. But I think if this game does so well, especially to a lot of young gamers who've never really had an opportunity to play Final Fantasy VII, if this game does so well, uh, I think that may be their cue to begin production on the uh, the real deal Holyfield uh, remake or up port of Final Fantasy VII. You guys let me know what you think about this story. Do you think that Square is only going to be making this basic port of Final Fantasy VII, or are they planning on releasing the real remake of Final Fantasy VII. God knows I hope they do, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys would agree with me on that. Let me know in the comment section below. As always, guys, show your support, hit that thumbs up button, and if you're new to the Beastly Gamer channel, consider subscribing. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.